wiki.easyvid.com. Search EasyVid Wiki before you decide. EasyVid presents the 10 best graphics cards for VR. Let's get started with the list. Starting off our list at number 10, the Zotac GTX 1660 Super is a budget-friendly option for pairing with a virtual reality headset. It is an entry-level model, and though it isn't powerful enough to run everything on high visual settings, it will enable your first foray into immersive alternate realities. It's small enough for compact cases and uses a 192-bit memory architecture. However, it's not ideal for the HTC Vive Pro. At number 9, the Sapphire Radiant RX Vega 64 boasts one of AMD's most powerful recent chipsets. Its impressive raw computational speed is ideal for video editors or other tech professionals who employ general GPU computing in addition to virtual reality tools. It comes with high bandwidth HBM2 memory, but it does consume a lot of electricity and it tends to make a lot of noise. Coming in at number 8 in our list, representing one of AMD's latest and most affordable offerings, the MSI Radeon RX 5600 XT is outfitted with 6 gigabytes of advanced high bandwidth memory, which allows it to push passable frame rates at reasonable resolutions. The fans provide plenty of airflow and it isn't terribly bulky. However, its overall performance is subpar. Our newest choices can only be seen at wiki.easybit.com. Go there now and search for graphics cards for VR or simply click beneath this video. At number 7, one of the best aftermarket versions of a leading chipset, the MSI RTX 2080 Ti X Trio will let you crank the settings to maximum in nearly any game, though it will also require you to shell out a lot of cash. It features 11 GB of GDDR6 memory and advanced cooling technology, but it takes up a lot of space. Moving up our list to number 6, the EVGA GeForce RTX 2080 Super XE Gaming comes in several variants, ranging from a standard clocked unit to a significantly overclocked model that can run at more than 1.9 GHz. It's one of the fastest options not just for VR, but also for 4K gaming in general. It offers good real-time ray tracing abilities and a transferable three-year warranty. However, it does require dual power connectors. Halfway up our list at number 5. After three years at the front of the pack, the GE Force GTX 1080 Ti has been dethroned by newer releases, but still outperforms much of its recent competition. This model from Gigabyte is well worth the relatively high price. It's suitable for overclocking and comes with RGB fusion lighting and more VRAM than most options. At number 4, the Gigabyte Radeon RX 5700 XT is one of the most recent releases available and serves as a quality mid-range option that's good for VR gaming. Its most prominent features though are its availability and relatively moderate price. It's built using the 7 nanometer method and boasts 8 gigabytes of memory and direct touch copper heat pipes. Nearing the top of our list at number 3, while it lacks the ray tracing and super sampling features found in its higher end relatives, the Gigabyte GTX 1660 Ti makes up for it with an above average boost clock of 1845 MHz and an overall performance on a par with the top offerings of the last generation. It's equipped with three DisplayPort connectors and responds very well to overclocking. It's good value for the money. Our newest choices can only be seen at wiki.easybit.com. Go there now and search for graphics cards for VR or simply click beneath this video. At number two, if you're putting together a portable rig, take a look at the Gigabyte RTX 2060, whose tiny footprint, moderate power consumption and low operating temperature are perfect for a mini ITX PC. It's about the most cost-effective of all the new NVIDIA boards. It's 170 millimeters long and includes 6 gigabytes of VRAM and a 1695 megahertz core clock. And taking the top spot on our list, 
powered by NVIDIA's Turing architecture. The EVGA RTX 2070 Super KO is one of the most capable models around that doesn't cost a fortune. It's not the absolute fastest overall, but it's enough to supply your headset with 90 frames per second. It's factory overclocked to 1770 MHz and can run nearly any game flawlessly. It includes a transferable three-year warranty. Our newest choices can only be seen at wiki.easybit.com. Go there now and search for graphics cards for VR or simply click beneath this video.